Good morning, everyone. My name is Raina Camargo, and I would like to welcome you to the Express Information Systems ADP Payroll and HR webinar. I have a few housekeeping items before I turn it over to Amanda from ADP. First, we will be recording this presentation today. Our presentation will last about 40 to 45 minutes, as we would like to leave time at the end to answer any questions. We ask that you hold all of your questions to the end. Please note that in the middle of the right-hand side of your screen, you can increase and decrease the size of the window being presented. We will also be emailing out an evaluation form. Please provide us with your honest feedback. Let us know if you are interested in scheduling a follow-up presentation and or if you would like to receive CPE credits for your attendance today. Also, please be sure to mute until the end when we open it up for questions. Amanda, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to you. Great, good morning, everybody. Um, at this time, I'd like to introduce um, our team that's on the call. So um, it's going to be myself, Amanda Thrasher. I'm the local point of contact here at ADP. Donna Khan is our relationship manager who will who works with myself, Express, and Express clients and soon to be Express clients. And then you have Michael Sodano, who is our business consultant, who does a wonderful job um, explaining who uh, I'm sorry, our technology and what it is able to do for you guys. On the Express team, we have Raina Camargo, who is our Director of Sales, Casey Callum, and Stacey Campbell as well. Hi, everybody. This is Donna Khan, and um, as Amanda just introduced me, I am the Executive Relationship Manager for Express Information Systems and ADP. My primary function is as a liaison between Express and ADP to ensure all projects are running smoothly, all goals are met for both Express and their clients. I'm just going to review a couple of the um, highlights of the benefits to you for joining ADP through the Express partnership. The first uh, item is that we do have dedicated implementation and service teams. They're dedicated to serving Express clients and ensuring all deliverables are met as they've been promised. Another component of the uh, Partnership Advantage program for coming on board through Express is that we have our ADP Advantage program. That is essentially a more robust implementation offering. Um, not only do we convert historical data for up to seven years, we also ensure that there is custom training delivered to managers and employees in addition to the practitioner level. We do have integrations available with Microsoft and Intact, which can be an, extent, um, an extension, I'm sorry, of any services that you currently contract with Express or will in, contract with Express. We also have a preferred pricing program, which ensures that you're getting the most competitive pricing in the marketplace. So if you have any questions about any of the deliverables or anything that we provide in addition, you can ask us at the end of the presentation uh, if there's anything additional you need. Amanda? Thanks, Donna. So a couple of ADP's um, awards, this is kind of what sets us apart from other vendors in the marketplace, is we've won a multitude of awards over the last 72 years in business. But one of the main ones that I really like is the Awesome New Technology Award. We've won that um, for four years in a row, as well as Accountant Connect. So linking up with your CPA and giving them access to certain information as well to help with um, tax filing at the end of the year. And this basically just shows that anything from the, within the life of the employee from screening and selection, recruitment, all the way to um, retirement and is something that we can help 
you with with your with your company. And so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to show you a demo of the technology. And then again, if you guys will please hold your questions till the end, we'll be more than happy to answer them. employee news. So just that one spot where we have that in internal communication with our employees and letting them know what they should be aware of. <clears throat> it's important to note that through the security of workforce now, all of this information is secure. So the employee only will have access to the first three tabs here, home resources and myself, the ability to see their own information, acknowledge company policies, and then we can also open up different types of employee self-service for them. The ability to change that direct deposit information and address can also come with a workflow so that when those changes are made, you're notified and then you can approve or decline those changes. Anyone with direct reports will have access to my team. So I'll be able to see my team's requests for time off. I can do pay changes. And we can even mask information here. So if we don't want managers to have access to pay data for their employees, we can have that turned off. And then at that HR level, we have access to the remaining tabs. So people, the entire organization, process, the ability to process payrolls, our reporting, and then the setup, the look and feel of how this looks for others. This also extends to the mobile application. So within, um, within Workforce Now, we also have the ADP mobile app. And this is um, you know, the top five rated business app on the Android and the iPhone marketplace. Employees here again can see pay statement information and make changes. They can enroll in benefits, request time off. So just having that one place where employees are free to go in and complete that employee self-service. Now, part of the Workforce Now portal is also having access to information. So once the, once the information is in the system, how do we get it out? And so on that Workforce Now landing page as part of that reporting, we also open up company insights. And this can be defined per user. We can say HR can see headcount information here and termination. Uh, our, our, our values for, for different HR metrics. Maybe that payroll administrator is able to see labor costs. And then that uh, benefits person, of course, seeing wave information and enrollments. Now, when we open this in the system, it takes us to our own custom dashboard. And the dashboard is comprised of, again, those important components to the individual. We're also, ADP is also taking client feedback, including additional dashboards like diversity and inclusion here, where users can go in and see how diverse their workforce is. They can also see how diverse that leadership is. So just the ability to drill down into some of the most important HR things today. In addition to that, we also give access to different metrics within HR and, and, and payroll time, different data there. So if I was charged with looking up my turnover, we could have a display where I'm able to go into that turnover rate directly from the portal here or through that ADP mobile app, and I can splice that data in different ways. So on the home screen here, we're looking at turnover rate by time, and I can see how that's fluctuated quarter over quarter. But perhaps I wanted to drill down into the different departments. So I can look at those departments and say, you know, how are we trending in each department and is there an area that I should be focused on? So 
looks like our healthcare division here has the highest turnover. And so we can say, you know, let's try and pull that down by a half a percentage point quarter over quarter. And if I wanted to monitor that, I can go in and say, what does that goal look like? And are we pacing correctly? So then looking at that quarter over quarter information, we can see in this department, we about halved our turnover and in some we went up. So we're trying to take the practices from this and implement it in different departments so that we can see that same success. We also give access to what we call storyboards or HR checkups. So you can, in for that same metric turnover, we can import our own numbers and say, you know, this is what we're finding. This is how much we're spending on recruiting, on training, on productivity, entering in those numbers based on the business group. And then ADP will tell us, you know, based on the information that you've entered, the average cost of terminated employee was $28,000. And then we can see our top cost contributors, store operations here, our potential savings, and then different tips on how we can address that. And this is all important because if we are trying to build a business case in HR for why we should have a 401k match or for why we should do certain business things to in, uh, increase our retention and reduce that turnover, we can use this to build that business case. We can say, you know, if we were to implement that 401k match, term states that it is, it is attractive to those employees and it's going to reduce our turnover by X percent. And so we can provide that use case and then get our, um, our business to, to implement that. We also give you access to our internal uh, benchmarking data. So we anonymized ADP client data and based on that, um, we're telling you different things about the organization. So we can compare that with turnover or what we're looking at here now with, co with compensation. I can enter in a specific job that we're hiring for and I can drill down into the state level detail or even go into the metro area, put in my industry. So really getting granular with that ADP anonymized data and saying this is how much we're seeing from the market. We update this information quarterly and we also are pulling it from our clients that we pay one in five Americans. So there's 94,000 organizations that make up this data set and over 30 million employees. Of course, as we enter specifics, we can see this number decrease. So with that job title accountant, we're pulling the information from 10,000 organizations around 25,000 employees. And so this is what it could look like. You know, if we, if we use those modules within ADP and host all the information here, we have the access to pull reports like this and understand the business a little bit better. Now, of course, in addition to that, you know, we wanna talk about the, the different components of HR. How are we getting folks into the system? So ADP can give us access to an external career center and you can think of this as an extension of your current website. If I click careers or jobs, it can route me to the site where I'm showing a little bit of information about the organization. I can link out to social media, include videos, but also showing those openings and allowing our candidates to apply, getting them excited about applying by including information on that career center. And all of this is mobile optimized. So we can have those candidates apply using their mobile device. We post out to different job boards, LinkedIn, uh, Indeed, uh, to name a few. We also have a partnership with ZipRecruiter that allows us to go in and say, uh, I wanna sponsor this job directly through the system. And it's included with our recruiting package. Now on the questions piece here, we can ask those candidates specific questions and say, you know, are you able to work this shift? How many years of experience do you have? And then based on how those candidates respond, when we're looking at them in the system, going back to that Workforce Now portal page as a, as a recruiter, I can see that those employees are now in the knockout folder. So they're not able to fill the position. It's allowing us to get some time back into our day because we're focused on the ones that are able to fill the position based on the criteria that we've set up. Now for requisition builds, 
there's a, a series, a, a wizard that we're walking through in order to put that information in, and we're defining the things that we're asking from those candidates. Once they're in, we can then see all of the information and the application status, so where that candidate resides, also pointing out that sourcing efficiency. So where is the best talent coming from? I can see here zip recruiter is among the top. So if I am focusing any kind of time, money or effort on these job boards, I know where I should be focusing it. Down below, I have all of my candidates. I'm able to mass communicate by selecting multiple and then sending out an email or text message. I can also individually go in and see where the candidates are in the process. So I have Kevin here. We can see the contact information, um, what he has applied for, the different folks involved. And so just providing one snapshot for all of the information that we need to move forward with this candidate, including the notes, the communication that has been sent out, if the background screening has come back. Uh, so just being able, again, to see all of that information in one spot. We also can schedule interviews through the system and manage offer letters. These are templates that we build in on the back end. So we're just indicating very few things here and then sending that off to the candidate for an e-signature. Let's send this offer out today. Now, once we're ready to move forward, we've gone through that, that interview process. Our employee has accepted the offer we can go into the actions tab and this magic hire button is going to take all of that information from that has been preloaded from that candidate application tracking and put it into our HR setup. And this is where we would then kick off that onboarding experience. Now what that looks like for the, the new hire is they will receive a welcome message either from their specific manager or someone within the organization whoever we would like to be that initial point of contact, letting that employee know that we're excited for them to start. Some of our clients will even put uh, contact information in here in order to have the employee go in and um, send an email or give a call if they have a specific question. Now, all of this is available through that mobile device, but for purposes of, of the demo, we're, we're gonna switch to the PC version uh, just to show that full layout on the side here. And these steps can be reordered, they can also be omitted. The real idea here is to align the employee to the mission and vision of the organization and get them acclimated with who we are. So showing that video, um, again, displaying that culture. The other component of that, uh, in addition to the, the culture, is then getting some of those paperwork pieces taken care of. So the Form I-9, for instance, we're walking the employee through that form getting them to fill out the different pieces of that. And at the end, they'll e-sign, and we'll be notified on our end that we have that, that form pending. And then on the employee's first day, we can log into our system, go in and add that employee. We're also taking care of things like tax withholding for federal and state, company policies, having the employee acknowledge those and read through them. Direct deposit, emergency contact, having the employee e-sign documentation or even provide documentation if we're requesting it. Driver's license, education certificate, we can make these optional or we can also make them required. We also um, put in some additional information too, like the reports to location. So showing that employee where they're working, I can see there's a Dunkin' nearby, so I know where I should be getting my cup of coffee and I can also plan my commute. This is powered by Google, so if I'm taking that public transportation, walking, biking, I can see how long it's going to take me to get into the office and the route I should go. Now, all of this information is then being um, displayed within Workforce Now. I make it really easy to do reporting using the field grabber here. So I can load this up. It's going to populate all of the fields on the page and so if I've collected the name, of course, from the employee, and maybe even some of the custom fields, these are unlimited and we can really choose what we want to collect from those employees. But let's say we have a company event coming up. I can pull that t-shirt size in and then create this report and hand it off to a vendor. 
once you're acclimated with the system, you'll know where everything is. And so you can go to that specific piece of the technology and pull that piece in to that report. So if I need additional data points, like the hire date, the status, training information, license or certification, I can pull them all into that same report. We'll also notify you that a similar report has been pulled and you can choose to move forward with that or continue creating the report that you've set out to. With that compliance, we're also putting in different alerts so we can notify ourselves as practitioners, managers, or the employees when something is coming up for expiration. So again, housing all that information in one spot, that's easy for us to go in uh, and be alerted. We give access as well to the employee to additional information regarding their pay. So part of that HR package is showing that employee not only their base earnings, which is always what we think of as employees when we talk about compensation, but then all of the other components that go into it. So here we're showing that employer provided benefit, how much we're paying, if we're doing that 401k match, PTO, all of those additional earnings so that we can provide that employee with the total reward statement. This is a huge uh, piece of that retention, you know, wanting to keep that employee by showing them all of the value that we're adding. In addition to that, we can host full documents as well, not only being alerted when they come up, but then also the certification, um, job description sign off, we can host the document here. And this is unlimited, so unlimited storage. Um, so pulling those in, we can ask employees for e-signatures, we can categorize those documents in different ways. Uh, that makes it easy for us to search. And again, all of this information is defined so that we can say, I only want this person to have access or I want this group of people to have access. <clears throat> ADP also supplies organizational charting, company directory information, again, all from that mobile app. In addition to that, HR, oftentimes it goes hand in hand with that benefit enrollment. So right here on the portal, we have that open enrollment. As employees, we can click in, again, using the portal or the mobile device, and I can see my year-end, uh, I'm sorry, my year-round enrollment, my benefit information, I can report a life event change, manage my dependents and beneficiaries, all in one spot. For this piece, we also allow broker access to set up different things like the plans, uh, introductory text, uh, text as well when the employee is logging in. And then as an employee, I'll only see the information that's pertinent to, my, to, to me as a, as a person. So, you know, if I'm only eligible for certain plans based on the state that I work in, that's all I'll see. Now here, we're having the employee enroll from anything from medical down to pet insurance. So whatever we're offering those employees. I can see a side-by-side -side comparison and a breakdown by pay period, by month, or by year. Because we're hosting the plan information, I can compare that PPO versus HMO plan side-by-side -side and see the deductible information, the services that I might need. So if I'm that person that's visiting the chiropractor on a regular basis, I can see how much that plan is gonna cost on one versus the other. course, capturing wave information, ADP can also uh, file the fees on your behalf for that ACA filing. And then of course, those dependents and beneficiaries. Now, as a practitioner, you'll have the ability to go in and make sure that the employees are following up on that open enrollment or that new hire enrollment. I can nudge them through the system and tell them to go in and make sure that they are doing that. We also make benefit invoicing very easy. So in the system here, I can go into my benefit invoicing and see a per carrier uh, report showing us what this should look like. We're taking that enrollment in the beginning and then we're sending the deduction over to payroll. So this should be our ironclad, our system of record, so that we, when we do pull that invoice report, it's showing us exact information. Now, when it comes 
time to process payroll and, and do that time collection, AP offers the power of choice for pulling that information in. We have a lot of different clocking options that we are showing here on the screen, including that web collection through the ADP mobile app, phone calling, uh, and then different kiosk and physical time clocks as well. On the portal here, we're showing what it would look like embedded within the system. But no matter how the time is collected, it's all flowing into the same spot. So as an individual, I would be able to see that time card and we can have that populated with schedule information as well. Uh, so again, just one spot where we can see all of the information relating to time. We can also include additional data points like having the employee indicate the department, the job or project that they're working on as well. It's nice that the, the pay class here is defining all of the data points. So if there's any kind of rounding rules or special holidays that this employee has, we can build that in on the back end so that as an employee or as a manager, I'm just simply entering my time or clocking in and out. I don't have to worry about any of that. ADP is doing the calculation for us. We also allow approval by the employee and the manager through the system. And then this will flow then uh, into special reporting. Along with capturing that time, we're also capturing time off information. So allowing the employees to make that request through the portal or through mobile. When they go in to see their balance, they can specify the date that they're looking for. So if I wanna take that vacation at the end of the 4th of July, I can go in and see if I have enough vacation to support that and then request my time off by again, indicating those dates, the time off policy, and then this will flow to my manager for approval. My manager and, and other uh, managers will have access to this information on what we call a team dashboard. And it's one spot that we dedicate to all time and attendance needs for that manager. So time card approvals, shifts to review, missed punches, Managers can go in and manage that those time cards for the employees by exception. So miss punches, I can see the schedule shift. I have the employee's phone number directly within a system. So again, just seeing all of that in one spot and then being able to address it directly through the system by just entering that out time. We're also able to see who is working today based on the schedule, who's coming in later, who's on break, employees that may hit overtime. So this is taking into account the hours that have been worked and the remaining scheduled hours to tell you, you know, if you have a call up, maybe we should pull in someone that's not projected to hit that overtime like Gerald here. And again, all of that information is reportable. Now in the system, um, once it's time to, to go in and, and process that payroll, users are just going to have the ability to then pull that time information directly into the payroll process. So going into the pay cycle, you can see a couple of things here. So at the top of the page, we have the chat with ADP. So we provide those internal resources where you can go and reach out to someone if you have any questions about where something lives within a system or if there's any kind of issues that you're having, we provide that in-text support that I can load up a live chat box and, and ask that person a quick question. You'll also have your full support team behind you that you can access through the support bubble. In addition to that, on most of the menus that we were, were in, we have their frequently asked questions and videos. So just again, just providing that self-help um, you know, within the technology. And then going into that payroll dashboard, I can see my employee updates. So any kind of new hires, terminations, employee changes, we can see before we process that payroll, I can see my total hours and earnings, and then pull in that time and time off batch directly into the system. And that's gonna show us our total hours per employee and we can configure what we're including as part of the pay set here. So 
So we are showing here overtime vacation sick, but if you have specific deduction codes that you would like to include, we can also build out that matrix. Now each employee has their own pay profile where all of their deduction data lives, wage garnishments, et cetera. So you'll have the ability to go in and enter that information. There's a lot of data and a lot of different points that are involved in processing payroll in house. And when it comes to ADP, we're taking everything in gray off of your plate. So we're doing that, that tax filing, that new hire reporting, your quarterlies, and then also once payroll is run, moving that information over to your general ledger. But before we do that, um, within the pay cycle, you're also able to compare historic data. So side by side, seeing you know, what a prior pay looked like versus the current, and then spotting any kind of variance, just making sure that you're able to um, you know, react if there is a huge, uh, a huge variance in the pay numbers. So just providing that insight, we can choose the different week that we would like to choose from. Um, you know, if we don't wanna compare just the last week, but maybe a prior week, and then drilling down into our company liability, hours, earning the different information, all before, um, processing those reports that are included within the payroll dashboard, and then previewing and accepting my payroll. Now we mentioned that general ledger entry. We are able to directly after payroll go into the general ledger interface, and this is where we're moving that post payroll information directly over to your accounting software. It launches a independent general ledger interface I would choose to create that general ledger file, select the payroll that I would like to run. And then here, if we're utilizing a, uh, an interface or a, um, an integration, I can transmit that directly over to my accounting software. We did want to point out too, that Workforce Now has a direct integration with Sage Intact. We have six different bullet points on here uh, of data movement. And I like to highlight that middleware here because this is where all of that data transmission is happening. So we're doing that field mapping. We also have that middleware to process anything. And this is a big differentiator because this is um, not something that's, you know, through our marketplace partners or uh, this is something that ADP is building and doing the heavy, heavy lifting and the development on, um, helping you maintain and keep those systems integrated. You can see here on the screen that we have a couple examples, that general ledger data, employee data, expense reimbursement, our time inbound and outbound, and then our dimensions for time sync. So the different things that and fields that we're having employees allocate labor to. So going back to that integration, once I hit transmit, ADP is going to send us a notification that the transmission has gone through. I can then log into the Sage Intact uh, platform where I can check and make sure that the journal entry is actually posting. So I can view that transaction, go into the actual general ledger movement here, and then I can see that my general ledger has been updated. Similarly, we talked about the, the employee data also being able to sync over. So we can have an employee information. Once we're entering it into to ADP, I can then populate that information directly over to the Sage Intact platform. And what that looks like from, from a, a company perspective is entering in the employee information. So we're going to type in the employee's last name view the information, and then we can send it directly over to that Workforce Now portal. Now, um, one, of, one of the last things that we wanted to show was of course that, that expense reimbursement. So through the system, we can enter those into Sage Intact. I can click on our staff expenses and then add. And we're going to populate all of this information and then click submit. 
Now, this is auto approved, but it would of course go with the, the solution that you had. If you had an, a, an approval configuration set up, it would go through that process, but then uh, allowing us to then post that information um, directly over to ADP payroll. So we can view that transaction uh, and then get that over to, to ADP. We're gonna select the, the expense to reimburse. Write that list. And then going over to the, the middleware that we talked about earlier today, I'm going to then pull in that expense reimbursement directly into ADP payroll. We'll also receive an email once that's been completed and then I have the ability to go into my payroll dashboard within ADP and make sure that I can see that there. So that full integration. I'd like to thank everyone uh, for your time and uh, I'm gonna pass it back to, to the team at Express and our, our ADP partners. Thank you everyone. That was wonderful. Thank you so much for that detailed explanation. Uh, this is Stacy with Express. Just wanted to ask if anybody had any questions, uh, they could either put them into the chat or they can um, unmute themselves and ask a question. We'll leave that for a minute or two and see if anybody uh, would like us to answer any questions for them. Well, that was a wonderful job, and I think that we are good. Nobody has any questions. We will follow up with an email and a video, I'm sorry, a recording of the video and see if anybody has any questions, and Raina and Casey will be sure to follow up. Well, thank you again, everybody.